Yeah, now let's see them overtake. <laughs> Brilliant! Why didn't we think of this before? Have you been overtaken recently? No, no, for a while, actually. No, neither have I. Hey what's up guys, Arava here and welcome back to a brand new video here today and as you can see we're back with some more wacky Assetto Corsa mods and well this is really very wacky, I think this is as wacky as it was when we raced buses around Formula 1 circuits and that same kind of vein we are taking a Reliant Robin at a Formula 1 circuit because recently over on the Quadrant YouTube channel we raced Reliant Robins against each other on the Top Gear circuit, I'll insert a clip of it now. Oh, It's free okay. for all. You may be in fluoro. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> if you want to check out that full video, there'll be a link in the description. But uh, it got me thinking, what would like Ro Robin be like on an actual thoroughbred Formula One circuit? So today we're going to try our hands out at Monaco, see if we can meet any apexes. I doubt it, to be honest. It's a three-wheeler with stabilizers, which aren't really stabilizing anything, if we're being honest. But uh, we're going to try our best, and then we're going to do a race versus some F1 cars. You know, when we did buses around Bahrain, the F1 cars just trounced us. But around Monaco, it's so difficult to overtake. I think we're going to test how difficult it's going to be overtake. Because if there's 10 of us and like Robins and just like a few F1 cars, I think there's going to they're going to be they're going to they're going to find it hard to find space to actually get us. So I think we might be able to survive one lap maybe, uh triumphing in, in the Ryan Robin. So let's see. But first of all, let's get into the car, into the cockpit and see how this thing just drives on its ones around the Monaco Grand Prix. This is going to be a, a travesty, I think. As I said, I don't think a single apex is going to be met in this entire video, if I'm being honest. So let's just get on with it as, <laughs> as we straight away do a wheelie out of our box because, yeah, the, the, the back wheels have got all the grip in the world and the singular one wheel at the front really doesn't. And uh, the stabilizers trying their best as we already have a load of understeer coming out. Now, what I what we found out in the quadrant video was it's kind of more, it's easier just to kind of feather the throttle, tap the throttle almost, and then kind of just soar away at the steering wheel. If you try and go in a bit too, well, smooth is the word. If you try and do a smooth turn like you would in any other car, as you can see, the car just rocks side to side. It goes onto its stabilizer and it, you know, it, it just seesaws away. So it's very difficult to actually get a, uh, it's, it to have a draw, a normal driving style with this one. So you have to really pick your line and then sort of aim aimlessly for it. Don't, you won't get to where you're aiming for, if I'm honest, but you're at least going to have fun doing it. Up to 65 miles per hour, 68. Slow down, please, slow down. Make Mirabeau, there we go, just about. Ooh, I think the stabilizer probably grazed the wall there. And then we come, oh no, the hairpin. The, oh, I can't even get it turned round. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, heavens! Oh, we've, hold, we've held it! How have we managed that? How have we managed that? I thought we were going to tip on our side. I thought it was over for us. Oh, actually, you know what? I nailed that apex. I nailed that one. I've got one singular apex right around this circuit. Then it's a very long run through the tunnel. Just waiting, waiting, turn. A literally full lock turn in fourth gear to even get that. That, that, that corner is actually a corner now in this car. And then we slow things down as much as we can and miss that corner, miss that corner, hit that wall and then, and then hit that one. Ah, uh, and then do, oh! Okay, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to do that. This has been as chaotic as I thought it would be, honestly, and I'm here for it. Right, come on, second, oh, third gear. Oh, you know what, me third gear is a bit underrated as a gear in this car. It's only got four of them, but uh, I think third gear, maybe the way to go. So far, okay, just going to start dabbing the throttle. You might hear my pedal bashing against the floor there, trying to get some smoothness, and I've not achieved it, to be honest. Right, Raskas, need to practice the dive bomb here. Down the inside like that, turn it in. I can picture it now. I think I reckon we could dive bomb someone at Raskas in the race later. I'm confident. And then through the bend, exit, and to the line. Right. Let's see what a proper timed lap is. Um, 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 I, 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 I I've made a mistake. Oh my, oh, I'm upside down. Oh, oh, 
Oh, okay, it's all gone tits up. All right, you know what? Let's go on to the race before we break the car anymore. The dial's broken. Look at it go. And now I'm... Can I actually even get out of here? Is there any way uh, without actually going to the main menu to just set myself back to the pits? No, no rock. See, if this was real, I could maybe try and rock my way round, but no, I am... I am just stuck here. This is only going to go badly. We've got a grid of uh, quite a fair few Reliant Robins, and we've got four, four F1 cars only, because I feel like any more will be a bit too overpowered. Let's see, we've got a three lap race, ambitious, and as always on this channel with these kind of mods, we end up very much like Top Gear in the rubbish spectrum after that ambition. But let's see if we can, you know, as a team, you know, work with the AI. Can we hold up these four F1 cars or will they just blitz passes? Oh, a P6 on the grid, six red lights, it's meant to be. Here we are. Can we try and hold back any of these F1 cars? Probably not. But let's get going. Lights are out and we're on the way and it's a classic right Robin Wheelie. And the car has gone completely flipped and it's facing the wrong way now. As we get towards turn one, barreling down. And can we make a dive maybe to the inside of one of the Ryan Robins in black and fluoro rather than fluoro and black. It's the kind of yin yang, I guess, of the Ryan Robins. But the F1 cars, they're coming. Norris is already up into P7. He's there. We're going to block the track. Look, do the top gear thing. Let's go side by side. Weave around and try and stop him. Yes, it's working. Look at this. We're all working as a team, as a unit. Look at the traffic here. You, you heard about being over, difficult to overtake at Monaco. This is the definition of being difficult to overtake. We're just blocking the track. And so far, it's working quite well here. Although they're going to blast past me a little bit here. The Stig, I've just realised, is driving one of these cars. The Stig himself has turned up. And I can see the McLaren is on my outside. And he's done me. And Lando's, and he's gone. And, and Lando's AI has absolutely got me as we turn in for the hairpin. Oh, good heavens! Oh, Verstappen! Verstappen spun me. Lewis has put me the right way, though. It's all gone tits up. Oh, we're really not coping well. These F1 cars are bullying us. They're bullying us. Hit the apex. No, block him off. Block Hamilton off. Ah, oh, and he's and he's good. And he's gone. Well, um, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, I assume at some point Leclerc will also be coming through. I think he's behind me, actually, barreling at me. Uh, through the tunnel, I think now. Where is he? I'm just kind of uh, waiting. I'm kind of a little bit scared. Where? There he is. He sent one. Let's fight him. Give him a good fight. Oh, he no, he's got. He's got. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? We probably should have expected this. Okay, it is a Ryan Robin after all. It's a pretty gopping car compared to a Fiat 500, let alone a Formula One car. But the good thing is, I am in the lead. I think of the Ryan Robins. I'm pretty sure, but I, no, actually, you know what, we're P6, how's this happened then? Has one of the Ryan Robins got far ahead? Because I don't know how we're in P6, because I feel like I've dropped everyone. The AI, they're having a mare, like, like, like I said, they don't know how to drive this three-wheeler. Of course, though, this car is so slow, by the time we get through to, like, the end of lap two, they're probably going to come to lap us anyway, so we have another chance of me blocking them off and going wheel-to-wheel -wheel with a Formula 1 race car in this thing. But it's just a futile effort, isn't it? I've been waiting here for 30 seconds. I thought I'd wait up for the other Robins, you know, wait for my pals. But um, we've been waiting for a long time. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Are they there? Are they in the mirrors? I can't see. Where are they? They're meant to be right here. Oh, there they are. Oh, my God. Why are they going so slow? You guys are so slow. Look. Oh, we're holding up the F1 car again. Block him. Look, now I've got the mirror enabled. Yes. Lock him off. Cut him off. Cut him off. No. Weave. No. No. Oh, no. Oh. 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 <gasps> oh I'm driving in the wheelie. I was. I, I drove with the wheelie for a good few seconds there. Right. This car. Apparently, this car's lapping me. But, huh? No, he's not. He's, that's not blue. Oh, the blue flags are for the F1 cars behind me. Whoops. No, guys. I'm racing the Stig. We're going side by side. Build the power. Build it in. Oh, beautiful apex. The Stig's gone wide, though. He's let the Mercedes through. These AI are really quite horrendous with the light, Robin, I must say. They are very, very poor. And one is just taking a very wide line. And I'm coming in, mate. Sorry. 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 
And it's neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen. The hairpin, he's round the outside. Oh no, he's gone so wide. Uh, what? I think the car, I think the F1 cars have finished their race. Have they not? I think they're, oh wait, no, they've got one more lap. They've got one more lap. It's their final lap. And we've not even got to the end of lap two. Good. Right, this is where I had difficulty with in the, uh, the, the, the run I had where I was trying to do a proper time lap. We obviously span it. It went upside down. That swing ball chicane. Let's this time, come on. Oh, look at that, a steering wheel lock. I literally turned it three times over. Probably doesn't even have a steering rack this much, uh, this, that goes this far, but it's happened in this game. Oh, we've gone over the bump, and sadly, I've not been able to do a rascas dive on anyone. Oh, no, no, the race is over. Oh, no, no, okay. One lap was, a, I got lapped once. That was enough embarrassment, apparently. Well, when they say there could be traffic at Monaco, I don't think they actually meant this kind of traffic here for Formula One cars, but it is quite a sight to behold. But guys, if you did enjoy this wacky little silly video, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you want me to do more like this, then let me know what combos you want to see in the comments as well. If you're only around here to get subscribed for weekly Formal on content, and I will see you guys next time.